I've got such a good technique for ratios that you're just going to, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to just do ratios for life. So you're never going to need any other technique ever other than this one. You write the numbers down here and you add them up and do the total. Don't even think about it. Think about doing anything else. Don't even read the question. Just write the total. Four, three, and nine. No prizes for doing that in your heads. So we all make silly mistakes. Let's not. We got the calculator. Stick it in. 16. 16. Then you're going to draw an arrow underneath each one. And this is what I call a ladder. Now, if you've seen me do the ladder before, you're going to know how powerful this is. The ladder, you can use it in like 10 different topics in your whole GCSE. Basically, the whole point of a ladder is you're going to times or divide all of these numbers by the same number. And here is the ratio. And in a ratios question, down here is like the real. So down here, there's going to be four numbers, and they all represent the real number of, and I would encourage you to do this as well, Rachel, Mario, Sanji, and write those above so you know. You have to do this. You have to write what, the, what each number represents and then put the total, draw the arrows, and all you're doing is looking around the rest of the question, you're looking for one other number. Bang, 96. There's going to be another number. And this 96 is either going to be there or, or there or there or there. And all you're doing is working out where is that 96. If the question said, Rachel, Mario and Sanjit shared 96 pounds in the ratio, blah, 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 then it goes there because it's the total. Okay. Da, da, da. Mario receives 96. Okay. So it's bang. It's like that. It's under there. And then I just promise you this is exactly the same every single time. You just need to work out how do I get from here to here. And if it's a simple number that you times by, you can just double it or triple it, whatever it is. And if it's any complicated number in the world, you just do the second one divided by the first one. So we're going to do 96 divided by, or I like to hit the fraction button as well. Fraction button, three. It's the same thing. 96 over three. You just always, always, always do the second one over the first one. And the answer there is 32. And so you times them all. It's always When you do the second one over the first one thing, it's always times. You always times by that number. So we're just going to times these by 32. And even if now you got stuck, you've always got, so the total there is 512. Out of three marks, you've got two now. I've got two marks and I have not even read the question yet. I've got no idea what the question's asking. I genuinely haven't looked. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, now let's look. Now let's split the money. Mario received that. Work out the difference between the amount Rachel received and the amount by Sandra. Okay, now this is so much easier because we actually know Rachel has this amount. Sanjit has this amount. And now the question is really simple. It's just work out the difference between 128 and 288.